I've been painting seriously for about the past two years, even though I've kind of dabbled with arts and crafts my entire life. Um, but the reason I started painting seriously is one, because I moved to a place where I felt comfortable, and two, because a coworker actually asked me to make a painting for them that they requested to pay for. So I felt sort of official there, and um, it got me seriously thinking about doing art as a profession. The inspiration behind most of my paintings uh, is nature and wildlife. I've always been obsessed with nature since I was a kid watching God Rest His Soul, The Crocodile Hunter <laughs> and Jeff Corwin. Um, I also have a big love for David Attenborough who you hear all the time on BBC Nature, uh, Planet Earth and all of those nature shows. And I just spent a lot of my childhood watching Animal Planet and uh, learning about animals, reading books about animals. And when I started painting, I tried lots of different areas until I realized that this was something that I felt truly connected to because of the many subjects and unique characters that there are in nature. Art by Kimberly Aludia comes from a mix of my first and middle name. My middle name, Aludia, is actually my mother's first name, which I grew up being <laughs> Uh, very embarrassed by, but as I got older and became more and more inspired by my mom's strength and determination and independence, I decided to reclaim the name and put it onto something that I was very passionate about and something that inspires me. And so my tagline is Art by Kimberly Aludia. I like to dabble in portraiture when I see someone who inspires me. Um, I am also a big fan of anime, so whenever I see a character that's pretty unique, uh, I would like to get some practice with the color pencils and markers and do some drawings. Part of the reason I like to do wildlife art is because I grew up as that weird kid who was always trying to learn about animals and read about animals and watch animal shows. And I think that there are a lot of people who look like me who don't really find an interest in that area. Um, so if I could inspire people to learn a little bit more about nature and wildlife through my works, um, then that is exciting to me. To anyone wanting to start art, I would say start. I would say definitely do something every day, even if it's something small, even when you don't feel like it. I would also say not to spend so much money on art supplies, especially the high-end art supplies. Art is all about skill, not necessarily the tools that you use. And as you get better, you'll find that um, you need better tools, but any artist should be able to create with what they have. And so I would say definitely work on your skills first before spending a lot of money. That's what I would say because I know I did that. To anybody wanting to pursue something that they're passionate about, I would say definitely go for it, even though it may look difficult or the road may be long. Um, I hear a lot of young people say it's going to take me until I'm 30, it's going to take me until I'm 35, but you're going to be 30 and going to be 35 anyway, so you might as well work for what you want now so that when you get to that place down the road that you can be extremely happy with what you're doing with your life and it's something that you chose specifically for you.